You guys put your, stand to your feet. Put your hands together. Start clapping them. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for none other than Miss Lady Erica Campbell. Y'all, we got Erica Campbell in the house. Wait, in the Ooh. flesh. And, and while y'all getting y'all seat, I want y'all to realize this is a beautiful woman. Isn't yes. she gorgeous? Yes. Oh my God. All right, let's have a seat, ladies. All right, all right. All right. Oh. Woo, woo. Okay, okay. <laughs> Erica Campbell is with us, y'all. <laughs> Do y'all know who is with us? Okay, so we're going to let uh, Councilwoman Gloria Gray yes. kick it off with the first question that we have for Ms. Campbell. Thank you so much, and welcome, Erica. What Thank a you. delight to have you here. Yes. Thank I'm you. To be here. Women rock, and yes. you rock, right? <laughs> Thank you so much. I think we all know that you are a native of Inglewood. Yes. Yes. Born and raised. Right. That's right. So what schools did you go to here in Inglewood? Well, listen, we were financially challenged, so I went to quite a few. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I went to Woodworth on UConn and 111th. Mm -hmm. I went to Crozier. I graduated eighth grade from Crozier. Okay. Mm -hmm. I went to ninth grade at uh, Inglewood. Um, and then there was another element, Woodworth Elementary School that's closer to Crenshaw. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we moved to Linwood after that. But my whole life has been Inglewood. My first job was uh, the, the youth programs. Um, yeah, we benefited from so many things here in the city and to see how the city has changed um, has been really, really interesting. But I'm, you know, even when me and my husband moved, I was like, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm from LA. I just need to get back <laughs> over this hill. And I don't Inglewood. like the whole five that much. So, um, <laughs> well, yeah, we want you back in Inglewood, okay? Yes, we want you back. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> okay, so now you know we were so excited about you being here, right? Yes. If you drive down the street, did y'all see the wild boars? Uh, yeah. Liliana Perez, but Erica Campbell, yes. we have all of our. Uh, a strong, powerful women on the billboard, yeah. and we wanted to let them know that they are coming to Inglewood because they rock, That's and right. we wanted to hear from you. So this right here, girl, you are rocking this picture. <laughs> Just because I want to let you know, yeah. All rocking. Around. So we want to know, like, we know you're a celebrity. You know, you, you everybody knows who you are, but who really, who would you say Erica Campbell is? How would I define myself? First, a child of God, right. yes, a woman of yes. God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. A human being who loves other people. Yes. Um, I understand that what I've been able to do, I've been given. Mm -hmm. um, it's not because I'm better than anybody else or I had something that no one else had. Mm -hmm. I believe that God opened the door at the right time because mm -hmm. the heart that I have for people, yes. um, it is not an easy thing to do to be so many things to so many people. Mm -hmm. It can almost be kind of scary mm -hmm. when people tell you something that you did blessed and changed their life. But I, what I do, I don't operate in fear because yes. if God didn't give me a spirit of fear, he gave me power, love, and Ooh, a sound mind. Yeah. So Wait a minute, is church in here today? <laughs> oh, if I'm here, it's going to be a little today? church. It's going to be um, a little church I, today, y'all. I, I try to make sure that I'm always very grateful because I remember staying on uh, Market Street in a two-bedroom apartment in my mm. room where four of my other sisters were in there because we didn't have much, as I said before. And I remember praying for it and mm. dreaming about it. Yes. I remember making up commercials as I sat on my top bunk, mm. hoping that one day I would get the opportunity. Oh. So now that I'm here and I 
I do have Grammys and I have solo million records and I have a radio show and I have a church and I have children. I still remember that Erica. Mm -hmm. I still remember working at Market Street. Mm -hmm. I remember working at the library in the bottom and I was wow. not a library girl, so I said, wow. mm, I'm not gonna be here long. Yes. Or I worked, uh, I worked at the senior sitter on, uh, on Market Street. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I worked at the grocery store on Crenshaw and Imperial. I just, you know, I did wow. so many things just in the city. If there was a, something opening and they needed somebody to sing, I was, I'll sing. You know, I just yeah. wanted an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I felt like the more that I went after that with everything mm -hmm. in me, that um, I would, one, honor what God has given me, and I would be true to what I dream about. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of us have dreams and desires, and we let fear get in the way. Mm -hmm. I don't care how old you are. If you were created for greatness, mm -hmm. you were created for get greatness no matter how old you are. Yes. Right? Um, I'm a believer, so I believe God creates and he wants us to create. Create environments of peace at home, create uh, environments of fairness in our community. He wants us to be creators. Yes. And so when we look at our lives that way, we realize that we all have the opportunity to make a deposit in every room that you go in. Yes. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To make a difference, to make a change. Mm -hmm. So I'm not looking for who will see me, who will accept me. I'm looking for what can I do in this room? Ooh. Whose hand can I shake? Yes. Who can I meet? Who can I be kind to? Ooh. I so love it. That's awesome. that's the real Erica. Y'all can, you know. That's Did you guys hear that empowerment message? Yes. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Ooh, she's bringing it. She's bringing it. <laughs> so with all that you have going on, your wife, mm -hmm. your mother, you, the first lady of a church. Yes. Then we're gonna go to the Grammys of the singing. Yes. you you have a radio show. Mm -hmm. How do you balance all of that? Mm -hmm. How do you balance that? Well, this is what I keep in mind. I wear a lot of hats, but I don't wear them all the same day. Mm. Yes. Oh, That's say it true. again. We missed yes. it, but I, I got it. Yes, I wear a lot of hats, do. but I don't wear them all the same day. When I have yeah. a microphone, we I don't have to cook that. dinner. Another while she I'm drops doing some, that more, thing. some more power, empowerment for us. I love it. While I'm doing that thing, I'm just doing that thing, and I believe that the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. So my perspective on it is everything. Mm -hmm. If I tell myself I can't do it, I probably won't be able to because I've already defeated myself in my mind. Exactly. If I tell yes. myself it's overwhelming, there's no way you can have a happy marriage and kids that like you and this, you got to give up something. Well... If God gave me kids, he didn't give me kids that ain't going to like me and I'm not going to like. Exactly. You know what I mean? Right, if I, if right. I fell in love with this beautiful man, why mm -hmm. should I tell myself it's going to be hell on wheels? No, nope. yes. I'm going to speak different. I'm going to act different. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take the natural measures. I'm going to pray, but I'm going to go to therapy. You know, yes. all the things that you mm -hmm. need. I want to be good as an artist, so I'm mm -hmm. always researching. I still have a vocal coach. I still, mm -hmm. you know, do those things to make sure that I am doing the best with what I've been given. Mm -hmm. You're um, doing it. Aren't, isn't she doing yes, it, y'all? Yes. 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 I, and, and I'll add this. I think that we all, like I said, I think we all are, are creators in our own way, and I think that we all have something to give. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure there are many women in this room that knows that we could take a grocery bag and turn that grocery bag into one million things. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? that's true. Yes. And even though you use it as one million things, it could be a trash can, it could be a, it could cover your yeah. hair if you got yeah. conditioner yeah. on it. Yeah. Or, you know, yeah. it could be luggage, you going from your car, you need to drop some. That that's grocery true. bag can come, but that's not what the grocery bag was created for. Or, right. That's there true. are a lot of women who are doing things that you were not created to do. Mm. You were created for greatness. You were created for more. Yes, mm. you just work at this place. Yes, you help this person. Mm -hmm. Yes, you just do this. But there's something on the inside of you that you have wanted to do your whole life. And you have given up on that dream because you feel like, I'm too old. It's too late. Yeah. They want yes. it from somebody young. I'm 52 years old. I just turned 52 Look last good. Monday. Look Woo, good. 52. Happy birthday. She looks good. Oh, Erica. You Erica. go, girl. She looks good. 52 and, where? And right here. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> and I was on tour, and everybody was younger than me. Mm. And I told myself, you're here because you're supposed to be. That's yes. right. You're here because you have something to give. Yes. Don't you dare mention age not one time, because God didn't care about that. Exactly. You know what yes, I mean? And yes. so we have to make sure that we align our thoughts with what he has it said is. about us. Mm -hmm. So even when the negative co thoughts come, and they do and they will, mm -hmm. even with where I am and what I've done, the negative oh, thoughts, and I'll go, uh-uh-uh, that's not who I am. Mm -hmm. I am who I'm supposed to be. God is opening doors for me. Yes. I am fully equipped. I have the peace of God, the love of God. I'm filled with the joy of the Lord. That gives me strength. What I don't know, he will teach me. What I lack, he will give me. Where I'm broken, he will put the pieces together. Where I'm empty, he will fill me. I know you're right. 
So what I say to myself about myself <laughs> is everything. And That's so right. I give that to you today. What you say to yourself about yourself when you wake up in the mirror. Your nose is fine, your hair is fine, <laughs> your wig is fine, What your no glasses Erica, are cute, no, no matter what size. Feel right. good about who you are. The world will beat you up enough. You don't need to beat yourself up every yeah. day. Yeah. Love on you, love on yourself sometimes. And that sometimes is the very thing that gives you strength to keep going. Even if you say, listen, I have sat in my own car and listened to yesterday. I have sat in my own car and listened to can't give up now. The Bible says encourage yourself in the Lord. So that means tell yourself I'm fearfully and wonderfully made in the That's image of God. Right. Tell yourself I'm the head and not the tail. That's right. I'm above only and not the least. I can Preacher do all Erica. things through all Christ things. that gives me strength. Woo. And if you're struggling with unbelief, it's something in there for you too. Lord, help my unbelief. Come on. I'm trying to believe, help. but it's hard. Mm. I'm trying to believe, but I've been so broken. Yep. I'm trying to believe, but I've been so disappointed. I'm trying to believe, but these tears in my eyes are stopping me. <laughs> Lord, help my unbelief. Because yes. all things are possible to them that believe. That's right. That's all right, Erica. Erica. <laughs> I said we were having church Erica, up in here today. It's time to go. May Erica, the Lord. We, we have <laughs> questions, but we don't need the questions. Let me just throw those over there. <laughs> yes. Erica has answered everything. Set it down. Everything. I don't know what you want to do, Dion, but no, no. I said, what do you want to do? Got a <laughs> what do you want to ask me? <laughs> well, I mean, your message, I'm, I'm just in awe of your message, a child of Christ. And then when you said that women were created to be magnificent, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And we are, yes. we have to remember that. But I have a question. I know you talked about all your accomplishments, right? Mm -hmm. But there's one that you did. You're an author. That's right. You wrote a That's book. Right. I did. Yes. I did. You wrote a book. Yes. Tell us about the book. Yes. All the right. book is called More Than Pretty, Doing yes. the Soul Work That Uncovers Your True Beauty. So I have had a lot of uh, changes in my life, changes in management, um, you know, the group going from being Mary Mary to being a solo artist, becoming a first lady. I really didn't want to, but I said yes to the Lord. Um, Cause you can't say no to Jesus, right? Right, you can't, tell can't God say no. no. Right? Um, I wrote the book that was just really kind of therapeutic for me. I write a lot of notes. I have a million notes in my phone um, where I talk about creating new normals and being okay with it. We get very used to things and mm -hmm. new spaces are uncomfortable and sometimes we don't go just because we've never been there before. Um, so I just talked about my process because people always ask me how, how do you do it, how do you do it? And it was no goodness of my own, only the strength of God. But being honest about those changes, how long it took for me to accept it, mm -hmm. you know, um, how long I said no to myself. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, just a bunch of things. The, th the, the, the rationale you give yourself when you grow up poor and, mm -hmm. you know, your parents, my, parent, my mother and father married each other three times. <laughs> wow. Three times. Wow. <laughs> they fell in love One three thing times. I know is Tommy loved Eddie and Eddie loved Tommy. That's, <laughs> that's what I knew for right. sure. Um, but, you know, you don't know that as a child growing up. And so right. just coming to grips with things as a grown woman, I said, I just need to write about there's more mm -hmm. than this. There's, right. there's so much in here yes. that I am more than willing to share. I'm not mm -hmm. embarrassed by anything that I've been through mm -hmm. because anything that I've been through has made me the woman I am mm -hmm. and made me exactly. better. Right. Or somebody else is facing it and I can testify and I can help her. Mm -hmm. I don't have to be embarrassed by it. And I know there's different generations in the room and there is a generation which you better not tell what went wrong in your house. Mm -hmm. You better not tell what happened to yes, you. Yes, that's true. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, my mother was one of the ones when mm -hmm. she got pregnant as a teenager. They sent her away. Mm -hmm. So yes, she wasn't yes. comforted. They didn't ask her, was she okay? Mm -hmm. wow. They just yes, sent, her, sent away. her away. You know what I mean? So yes. there's a lot of things that women deal with. You know yes. what I mean? A marriage breaks up and it's like, what did you do, girl? How mm -hmm. you lose your man? I mean, yeah. there's so many things, so many bits of brokenness in all of us. And we have to heal so we can help. Yes. And once we heal, we can, I don't want to live from my pain. Yes. I don't want to live from my heart. I want to live yes. from my heart. Mm -hmm. And so much, much, so many of us are living from a place of pain mm -hmm. because we never heal. We just kept going. Because mm -hmm. that's a woman's job, right? right? right. Just keep going. Right. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need to pause and heal. So I wrote the book so I could heal and help mm -hmm. other women heal and get beyond what's on the outside and get to the inside of you. Mm -hmm. So where you think about yourself and you go, yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. yes. right. It doesn't take somebody else's compliment. Yes. I, I appreciate the compliment, mm -hmm. but 
sometimes they're not there. Yeah, exactly. And you need to know how you feel about you. Mm -hmm. Where you look past, you look at yourself when you walk past the mirror. I'm cute today. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. That means something. Mm -hmm. Not looking to find what's wrong. Not looking to see if I'm, just to look to compliment yourself. Learn to compliment yourself. Right. I'm telling you, you walk in a room different mm -hmm. when you learn to compliment yes. yourself. Mm -hmm. And when somebody give you a compliment, just say, Thank, Thank you. you. That's right. Your hair is cute. It's not even mine. You ain't have to tell me that part. <laughs> Just say thank you. Ooh, girl, you look good in that dress. Girl, this shaper is squeezing. Don't Ooh. tell her that part. Just let them think you lost 10 pounds. It's all right. Right, right, right. right. Squeezing. What's the name of your book? It's called More Than Pretty, Doing the Soul Work That Uncovers Your True Beauty. Say it again. More, More Than Pretty, Doing the Soul Work That Uncovers Your True Beauty. One more time. <laughs> More than pretty. Yes. Doing the soul work that uncovers your true beauty. That's awesome. Thank you. Yes, yes. Please get her book. And this is a side question, but I wanted to ask it because it's clear you're a powerful woman of God and it just exudes from you. And so um, I, and like many other women in the room, we're all living in, in, in our um, uh, city clerk and our councilwoman, we all have our own spiritual journey. Yes. And so um, for me, I feel like as I get older, my spiritual journey gets stronger. And it seems like, you know, we're, we're around the same age, but it seems like you have been like that your whole life. Where, <laughs> when, when do you feel like God called you to do the work that you do, to be a songstress for God, and to, oh. to um, just be a woman of God and share your Thanks. love, share your knowledge, spare your spirituality with everyone. When did that, ha when do you feel like that happened for you? I would say it happened pretty early. So I grew up in Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. Our church was on 111th Street between like uh, La Mole and Yukon. Oh. Yes. And so that was my, that's my area. That's where I was raised. But I saw my mom play the piano and sing. Mm -hmm. And she was this powerful, beautiful yes. woman. Even though she had real life, she yes. was this powerful. Mm -hmm. My aunt was the first lady. And so I saw her. Mm -hmm. my, my cousin was one of the lead singers. And I, you know, some people watched celebrities. I watched people who were actually in my real life. Right. Um, and then our church had this this choir that we won the McDonald's Gospel Fest in 1990. And then we would do. Whoa. And Who remember would, that one? Yeah. We would do um, so many things. So I saw, I saw the the manifestation of what the singing did for people, mm -hmm. how it blessed them, how yes. it connected them to God. The, when I really knew I wanted to do it, I was about 15 years old. We were at a choir rehearsal, and I was singing a song. And in my mind, I closed my eyes and I left choir rehearsal, and I imagined myself just at the feet of Jesus, just singing to Him, just singing my gratitude, singing my love. And when I opened my eyes. Everybody had their hands up. Some people were in the floor worshiping. Mm -hmm. And I said, Lord, I want to do that for the rest of my mm -hmm. life. So it has never been about, um, thank you. It's never been about, you know, someone finally recognizing me. I, Cause I was, I grew mm -hmm. up in a family of nine kids. You right. know what I'm saying? So right. somebody, hey, I can sit down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody always was recognizing me. Right, Your right. daddy said, quit talking to church. You know, so somebody was always right. paying attention. Right. So people paying attention doesn't, you know, that's yeah. a part of my life, especially when you're in a big family. Mm -hmm. um, but people paying attention as I sing and them getting closer to God, mm. I felt like, man, that's a life-changing mm. thing. So even when I go in big rooms and non-gospel spaces mm -hmm. and secular spaces, I've been in rooms with everybody from Oprah to Beyonce, yes. Elton John, you know, yes. you name it, Robin Roberts, all the people. And I always say, what do I have to deposit in this room today? Mm. How will I, I be a reflection it. of God's love and yes. light to when I leave, they'll want to know the Jesus that I was talking about. Ooh. So um, my desire to sing has always been there since I was five years old. I started, mm -hmm. you know, singing, and then I just always sang at church. That was just always my life. And in mm -hmm. high school, I was in the choir in high school. So yes. all the programs, all the, you know, I sang all the national <laughs> anthems and yes. all the things. Um, mm -hmm. And you just keep going. And I think as you keep saying yes to what he's already created you to do, yes, um, he keeps opening doors. Mm -hmm. And so I think no matter what you do, your job is to keep saying yes to the creator. If you believe in the yes. creator, yes. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I, I, want, I want my life to look like he pictured it, not me. Oh, that's beautiful. So I want, I want, right. 
Yeah. All I right. want everything that he said, oh, I want Erica to do this. I want to have my ears open so yes. I can hear when he says yes or no or mm -hmm. stop or go mm -hmm. or sign the contract or don't sign the contract. It's right. really, God's been so good to me. Mm -hmm. That has nothing to do with tangible things. Mm -hmm. He's been good to my heart. Yes. He's been good to my mind. He's yes. been good to my soul. Yes. Carrying me through difficult days. Mm -hmm. Holding me together when everything was falling apart. Yes. He's been yes. good to me. My mom is still alive at yes. 74 years old. My, God has been good to me. Yes. You know what I mean? My mm -hmm. sisters, we all like each other. Like, okay. I'm, I'm leaving yes. here to go get on a plane to go celebrate my sister Gugu. And oh. Tina's birthday was Tuesday. So God has just been so good to me that it has nothing to do mm -hmm. with this. I don't have no red bottoms. I don't have no working bags. They, yes. they hurt too much and they cost too much. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I'm from Inglewood, so I'm a, a little frugal. A lot of us don't have those working bags, right? I don't you let social them. media telling yes. you you're missing out? Them shoes hurt. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> and then we just have, like, just a, a couple more questions. So we wanted to know, what's next? What's on the horizon for Miss Campbell? What yeah. you got going on over the next year? So I am currently pitching another um, uh, family reality show oh. um, with my daughter and, and oh, you know my yes. whole family really. But you know we're kind of focusing on my children mm -hmm. and being children of people like us and what that means yes. and how they find their way and yes. how you gently guide and mm -hmm. you know. So that whole thing, and I'm finding that not many networks want positive families. Mm -hmm. So we need Two to support that you her. Think support. We need to support That's her. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yeah. They were like, well, you know, we checked the stats, and you know, like, is, is there any problems? You got like, is anyone struggling with drugs? Anybody sick? Is no. your marriage in yes. trouble? Like, right. well, I'm like, no. None of that. No. None of that. And they said we'll pass. So trying to find a home that creates. Um, healthy family entertainment um, is is what I'm working on. I'm gonna do okay. another book. Uh, this time it will be with my daughter Krista, who's 19. Oh, nice. Um, okay. Working on her music, and then you know there's the church. I just got off tour, um, I'm, so I'm, I'll be at church on Tomorrow. Sunday. I'm going out of town, but I fly back Sunday morning to go oh, to church. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, we are nine years old. We are in the San Fernando Valley. If you want to visit, it's the California Worship Center, 214 North McClay Avenue. Yeah, that's right. Uh, if you don't remember that, just, Wait a minute, repeat just that, Google, Ms. Campbell, just, repeat it. Just Google California Worship Center. Okay. Um, or if you can't remember that, Erica Campbell's church, and it'll pump. Just Google it. It'll, it'll come it. up. I love it. Um, the, the church is kind of our, our, our focal point, right? Mm -hmm. The women's ministry, the youth ministry, our outreach ministry, where yes. we um, uh, take, take care of people's groceries mm -hmm. at uh, Thanksgiving, which is oh, so nice. cool. We went to this grocery outlet over here on Crenshaw and Imperial. That's in yes. my district, Miss yes. Campbell. Yes. You gonna call me when you do that? Call yes. me, we, yes. We've done it like twice, Coco, two or three times. That's my district, y'all. Well, I need to call you. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so we do one in the valley where the church is, and then we find areas, you know, where we know are yes, struggling financially. And when they come to the front, we say, can we pray for your, pay for your groceries? And um, what's funny is some people say yes and cry, and some people go, why, why you wanna, why you wanna? Patricia's here, from Grocery Outlet? Yes, Hi. Patricia! Yes! Woo! Thank you for letting us come to your store. Patricia, yes, I, I almost. Patricia is here. We're gonna get a picture of you guys um, yes, before please. when we end. When we end, okay? Okay. Yeah. So, so what I'm working on is things that bring value, not to just me, but to other people. Love it, yeah, love that's it. Awesome. You guys, oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, no, I'm just, I'm loving what she's saying. <laughs> so I just love her story. Keep yes. talking. <laughs> We are so excited. So we, we, we want everybody to go and support Miss Campbell's church. It is the California Worship Center. Yeah. Okay, so let's all try and get out there over the next year. She has a book out and another book coming. So what books are we going to get? We're going to get More Erica Campbell's book. Oh, my album, the newest album is called I Love You. Um, you can I it love I you. <laughs> I hate yes. to put her on the spot. I wonder if she can give us a little sample. A little. Yeah, that might not happen this morning. Because <laughs> you, you, oh. you got to warm okay. up and get ready. Okay, yeah. all right. right. So, right. So, <laughs> don't do you like that. Put <laughs> you on the spot. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> no. So anyway, and she has an album coming out. So it's we, out. It's already out. It's, yes, already it's out. Yes, it it is was out. It was nominated for three Grammys. Please, please, please support Erica Campbell. 
As she it comes to Inglewood, we want to thank you so much yes, for thank coming you. back thank to your you. Yes. So much. My pleasure. Thank you. thank you so much for being here, ladies. Thank you for having yes. me. You can follow me on social media at I'm I'm Erica Campbell on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. I'm and Erica we're gonna Campbell. get a few pictures with Erica Campbell, but she's catching a plane out. But yeah. we're going to have her take a few pictures. One of them I want with um, Patricia from Grocery Outlet. So thank you guys so 